Hey guys and welcome back to How to Funnel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to optimize your Money Robot tool if you are a user. This comment came in the other day from one of our videos here and it goes, for, or it comes from James Taylor who asks, so how can I get the settings right? I really need my website to rank. I have Money Robot, but it seems useless to my assistant. Uh, to me, any assistance would be grateful, thank you. Before we do get into this video, make sure to grab the Money Robot University because it goes over in detail how to actually rank your videos and how to actually rank your website. Something that is um, you know, very much requested from uh, this channel is you know, how do I use the Money Robot? How do I use Jesse? Um, so this course actually goes into the Money Robot tool. We are going to be adding GSA videos into that course in the coming new year. So make sure to grab the course. It's in the link in the description, also in the comments. But we're actually going to go into the optimization and why your website is not ranking. There's many factors as to why your website is not ranking. It could be your on-page SEO. It could be your off-page SEO. And you know, it could be the content that you're creating. You can create content with uh, ChatGPT before, and, but it really depends on the way you're actually editing the content. Is the content helpful for your reader or is it just like plain text in an in a image? There's a lot of factors that go into the reason why you are not ranking. But we're going to go into the optimization of the Money Robot so you can actually get the best out of the tool in order to see the best out of ranking it for specific keywords. And then in future videos, we're going to go into automa uh, automation in or order to create you know, pages without actually having to touch your WordPress blog. And that way you actually start to rank faster. You know, If you want to index all of your pages on Google, you know, you have to be able to create a lot of content on a continuous and consistent basis in order to actually see the ranking. You're not going to just see rankings if you put one article up every single month in hopes that it ranks, right? So, uh, so we're going to go actually go into the Money Robot tool and I'm going to show you how to actually optimize it. As you can see here, right here we have over uh, uh, 600,000 uh, accounts already. So we are already running quite a lot of different accounts for this particular one. And I want to just zoom in right here where you can see that it is ranking my specific keywords right here in my specific domain because I actually optimize it properly to do that. And I literally just created that before I started this video here because I wanted to show you the uh, as an example. So I'm gonna show you how to optimize it right now. I go, You go into your settings right here and you wanna keep the settings like this, okay? So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna zoom in here and right here, okay? So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna start it maximized, okay? You wanna start your money robot tool maximized. The reason why you want to do that is because you're optimizing it to the best of ability, okay? So you want to start your program maximized. The second thing you want to do is you also want to have this checked where it's an auto, auto start with Windows. But the reason why I do this is because I'm talking about in specifically uh, VPS format. So you're gonna have your, if you have a VPS, and this is the mistake a lot of people make is if you don't have a VPS server and you're running the Money Robot tool and you take it off, it is going to screw up the entire process and you're not going to actually get the full benefit of the Money Robot tool. That's why I highly recommend having a VPS over having the web application. The web application is good, but the thing is you are a public and even though you have a your own you know, you have your own account, you're still public and, you know, other people can see your keywords, they can see your domain. So that's the problem with the web application versus the private virtual server, which is the, exactly what it means is it's an actual private server where you have your money robot hosted on there 
and you could actually have your campaigns and in, in your processes running without anybody else looking and peeping at your stuff. So that's why you have to auto start it on your VPS server, not on your main computer. If you have your main computer, you're shutting it off. No, you're not gonna. You're not actually going to get the results, unfortunately. Okay. So the next thing is you want to have it auto signed in. That's probably already checked for you. And then you want to actually have auto check for updates. Okay. So you want to auto check it for updates because it's going to update uh, regularly. And then you want to automatically send links to the Money Robot Index service. It takes about 10 days uh, dip feed for that to work, but it automatically sends link links to the Money Ro Robot indexing service. And then, and then you want to actually refresh your your um, page rank daily. Okay, so you want to have this checked. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is you want to have you want to wait before verification. So wait before email verification, eight minutes. Uh, page loadout times every two minutes. Process timeouts, uh, 10 minutes. Process retry, uh, two minutes each. Okay, so you wanna make sure that it is as this looks right here because the page loadout times should be short. So the, the processes right here are going to be running at a specific time frame and your times are going to be, you know, based on the, you know, the process that you create. Okay. So once you do that, then you're going to go to the next part right here, which says CAPTCHA service. You're going to leave this as it is, but you're also going to click right here that says solve all CAPTCHA automatically. And then the next thing is you want to go to your, this is very important. Uh, so just going to go right here and you want to make sure that neither of these are enabled. The reason why is because it will slow down the processes. So any effects that are created right here, I'll just zoom in right here. You can see that um, these effects are automatically created right here, but it actually slows down the computer and, and the software. So you want to actually in, uh, not have any of these enabled and that way it actually speeds everything up. Okay. And that's as simple as that. Make sure that you have all of these exactly as, um, we stated here in the video. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually go to the campaign and I'm going to show you how to optimize a campaign properly. Now there's a few practices that you can utilize in order to get the best out of your campaigns. And then basically what you want to do is you want to just have your campaigns running at a specific time frames. Okay. So you want to actually have your campaigns running at a specific time. So I'm going to actually go here and I'm going to show you what the campaigns look like. So I'll just open this up right here. And then I'll just close this right here. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what a campaign looks like. So I highly recommend sticking to one particular diagram, which is one, two, two, 12. That one is going to get you the best results out of all of them. You know, there's other diagrams that you could utilize. There's more powerful ones for specific reasons, such as if you want to rank YouTube, for instance, or if you want to rank, let's say a, a Fiverr gig or something along that lines, there's other diagrams for specific reasons, but this particular one works for websites, especially so that I highly recommend utilizing this one It's free in the description. Also in the comments, you can grab it if you want. And, uh, basically this diagram right here, you know, works best for if you are utilizing it for a website, if you're using it for, um, specific domains or specific, uh, if you're going for specific web pages, that is like a service, a local business, it could work for anything like a landing page. This, this is great for all kinds of different websites and different variations of articles.
Okay, so let's say that we wanted to actually add a campaign and run a campaign for five days. The first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you are creating one campaign each day. Okay, so this is keeping in mind that you have a virtual server already and you know you actually have something that is uh, running on a server, right? Because if you're not running on a server, then you can't run it consistently. But let's say you have the server and you put in your money website right here. So let's say I'm going to put in my website. Also, when you put in your website, make sure you actually put in the URL, the full URL and not just the website typed out because that's one reason why a lot of people don't actually get traffic is because they actually type the, their URL right here. You want to actually have your URL pasted on here, copied and pasted from a browser in order to actually get it to drive traffic to the actual web pages because if you just type it out, it's not going to actually give you that traffic. So I'm going to actually I'm going to actually show you right here. So I went to my website and I'm going to add it right here then. And keep in mind, this is just a dummy website for the time being. I don't actually have anything on it right now just because it's just for example purposes. But let's say I wanted to do something in the along the lines of weight loss, which is probably the most competitive niche. So what I would do is I would take the domain URL right there. I'll copy that and I'll put it into my keyword research tool right here. Okay, so I'll go into my keyword research tool. And then what I'll do is I'll get keyword ideas that I could use to actually paste into my keyword spin text. So my computer is just running a little slow right now because it has a lot of processes running. And there you have all of the keywords that you can use in order to actually rank for specific keywords like five day fat burning detox water challenge, five day fat burn, five day belly fat loss, five day fast weight loss. There's a lot of different keywords here you could even use. How long to, to lose 5% body fat. So a lot of these keywords right here will rank a lot faster than let's just say uh, weight loss, right? And you can use these keywords at, to create blogs as well. You can create articles with each and every one of these keywords too. So you, they have multi purposes. Don't get so hung up on the keyword competitiveness because the more you you know focus on keyword competitiveness, the more you're losing out on opportunities to rank for things that may may rank faster than you think, right? So if you're taking all of the keywords and you are using them for articles, there's a good chance that some of these keywords will actually rank on the first page of Google if you create an article out of them. So just keep that in mind, right? So I'll put my keywords here, okay? So you have, make sure you have all of your optimized keywords here. As you can see, these are great keywords. And then what you want to do is you want to create a unique article. So again, when we do submit this, we're going to submit it for a duration of five days. We're going to make sure that this is clicked. So we want to make sure that it's run now. Okay, run now. You could also load articles from your folder, but it really doesn't matter. Um, you can do that as well. Like you can take these right here and you don't actually have to have spin text. You can create ChatGDP generated articles and then load them from an article. I'll do a, another video on how to do that in order for you to actually optimize for um, you know your articles in your websites, right? And then what we're gonna do is you're just gonna click start campaign right here and then basically it'll start their campaign. So Again, if you want to rename your campaign, let's say you forgot to rename your campaign, I highly recommend renaming your campaigns because that way you will actually have more organized campaigns and you'll know which ones are, are 
performing for specific domains. So I will just go to rename my campaign here and I'll put fat, five day fat loss. Five day fat loss. And I'll click OK. All right, perfect. So with that said, that's the end of the video. Leave a comment below if you want your website audited and I will send you a link to that. Also grab the um, Money Robot University course, which goes over all of the processes and all of the features and how to actually use the Money Robot in order to actually rank your website properly without fumbling it or actually making beginners mistakes. So with that said, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching. Take care.